I finally got my Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Box. Wow, that shipping took forever. But then again, maybe this is just a box that somebody reused. This box here is actually from another YouTuber named Collecting Plastic. I have mentioned him many times on my channel now and I will link his channel down in the description again because I, I just think you should check out his channel. It's a really great channel and I think that's why his channel is growing so fast because it's just entertaining and he, he does really more in-depth Funko reviews than I even do. I mainly just focus on you know collecting them going out on hauls or going out for hauls and things like that but he really does go in depth with breaking down you know the little design choices and things with the figures the quality of them and everything so definitely give him a look if you're not already familiar with this channel but anyway he sent me this box because I recently picked up for him Plo Koon, Riyiz, Kit Fisto and the ATAT -AT driver so that was the full set of the Walgreens exclusive Star Wars figures and he was very appreciative of that and he did reimburse me with cash just for the figures themselves not for the shipping but he did pay me back for the figures themselves and we worked that out basically because I do like to trade sometimes but it's not always cost effective for me especially if there's not something really tough for me to find that I'm getting in return you know so right now I actually do have a lot of the things that I really really wanted so I am gonna update my want list things that I, I'm still looking for and I may put that at the end of the next Saturday night vlog I may update that with the rare figures that I want the exclusives that I want to find and then also some commons that I want to find that way if anybody out there is interested in doing trades with me you'll have an idea of what I'm looking for but it is gonna have to be specifically those figures otherwise to me it's just you know, I I do like to help people out, but it's got to be worth it for me also. You know, it's just got to be worth it for me as well. So sometimes there will be times when I may help people and just do that for the cost of the figures plus shipping. Of course, I'm not going to try to flip figures and rip anybody off. I would never do that. But at the same time, I'm not a rich man. So that's just the way it's going to have to be sometimes. If you ever see me show something or you see something, let's say in a store that I'm in, that you really have your eye on just understand that I may not always be able to do a trade it just may not be cost effective for me at the moment and like I said I'm, I'm just not a rich man but yeah Saturday Night Vlog look for that at the end I'll get, let you know the exclusives in the comments I'm looking for just in case we do a trade in the future okay so and I do want to say this while I'm getting into this box here Somebody asked me recently, I won't point out his name, but somebody did ask me for advice on trading and me personally, I've had much better experiences on YouTube than I have had through Facebook groups. There are a lot of scammers on Facebook groups. I'm not sure what in the world is going on with that, but it's been pretty ridiculous lately. The number of people I've seen reported as stealing. Okay, so there's definitely more in this box than I expected. It's so crazy too. He didn't tell me like exactly everything that was in this box. I knew that he was sending me, and in fact, I won't say it yet. I'll show those to you in a moment. But I didn't know that he was sending me any of these science fiction boxes here, mystery minis. And it's so funny. I just had my eyes on these, but I was kind of worried about not getting what I really wanted. I only have one of these. If you can see it up there, I have the Alien Queen, which is a really awesome figure. But. Let me look to be sure again. Yeah, I don't have any of the rest of these figures here. So let's go and see what we have. Okay, and the first figure here, I think this is called a Cylon from Battlestar Galactica, which I have never watched. The only, really, the only reason that I even know that is because of Big Bang Theory, which I'm a big fan of, I think. Pretty much everybody is. Big Bang Theory is an awesome show. So, yeah, that's really the only reason why I'm even familiar with this. That is a pretty cool effect there. Like the strobing light going across. 
that looks pretty cool and it looks like here on the back of the box that you can also get a gold variation of that figure okay so that's pretty cool there let me see how well he stands most of the mystery minis I've had they stand pretty well I think I've only had maybe one or two that just want to keep falling down okay so here is another science fiction box mystery mini oh I definitely like this one because I'm a huge fan of this show we got Bender from Futurama I actually started to go back and watch some episodes of this show the other day on Netflix such a funny series and I really hate the way that Fox did this series they were the show was constantly cut off by football um football would cut into it they'd only play like half an episode or not play it at all and then you know it eventually went to Comedy Central it had another run there but it's a show that in some ways just never really got its full due but again with this and this must have been from a different store because here yeah Hot Topic exclusive you could have got a gold variant of Bender I just like good old Bender there though he looks pretty cool okay next box here this is from a different series another one that I really like horror classics and I do have a couple of these in fact, I'll show you real quick the ones that I already have from this series. I have uh, Alfred Hitchcock, which I think I do have the black and white version. At first, I didn't know what was going on with them, but I think he is like a, a black and white version. I, that's the one I have. Then I also have, I have Sean from Shaun of the Dead. Huge fan of that movie. I got Beetlejuice. In fact, Beetlejuice is right there. He's on my favorite shelf because he's just awesome. And I got that Frankenstein as well. The Frankenstein is really cool. It really doesn't want to stand that well because the leg, the right leg is forward. So it does want to tilt and fall down. But still, a great looking figure. And I got the Creature from the Black Lagoon. And that's the very first one that I got. He's also up there on my favorite shelf over there. And this was actually given to me by Karen from the channel Ethan Finds Out. Another YouTube channel. Another great entertaining YouTube channel. So yeah, actually I already have a good jump on this series. But let's see what else... I have going on here <laughs> and we have here a gremlin I want to say this gremlin's name is Spike if I'm not mistaken you all correct me if I'm wrong on that but yeah we got a gremlin there I said these horror mystery minis look so cool even when you look at it really up close it's just great detail to it that little stripes on his back and everything. That mohawk, look, mohawk, excuse me, looks so cool. So yeah, definitely like that. And I mean, I could see get him even more from this series. This is really a great series. The only figure, the first time I looked at this, the only figure I wasn't sure what in the world it was was this figure here. And then I realized right after I did the video that at that is the character from the Lost Boys. And that's actually from one of my favorite scenes in The Lost Boys, so I'm surprised I didn't remember that. But yeah, that's one of the vampires. I want to say he was played by Kiefer Sutherland, maybe? I can't remember for sure. But yeah, I know that was definitely my favorite scene in that movie. Now, moving on here, collecting plastic. I'm going to move these guys to the side some very carefully here. He also sent me some figures that I have never had before. These are coming from Kid Robot, and they are called Dunnies. If you're not familiar with that, they are called Dunnies. So I've never even seen one of these in person before. They all have this sort of rabbit design or bunny type design going on. And then you see very interesting designs. So yeah, I've never seen actually seen one of these in person out of the box. So really cool designs here. A little riot. Dunny there that's pretty cool and this box in general just looks great so let's go ahead and get into it my very first Dunny and bear with me here he does have it taped up okay now these figures he still has in the plastic and I'm I'm, I'm assuming that's because they do tend to come with um with some little item that they can hold in their hand Oh, make sure I got everything out of here. Now, how crazy is that? I was just looking at that Riot Gear Dunny, and that's the first one that I actually got here. And it looks like you can actually put 
the helmet and everything on. But I tell you what, for the sake of time, I'm just going to keep things moving and then I'll put this all together at the end and let, let you see them when they have all their items and everything together. But I definitely can't wait to see how he looks with that helmet on and his items in hand. I'm just going to keep things moving for right now because this video is already running kind of long here. Next box. This is the box that I've seen before. I actually saw him on his channel open up two of these, I believe. And then I've seen these open up on another channel as well. Again, some really cool designs. Just look at that one there. It's like a King Kong one holding a woman. This one here really reminds me of Doink the Clown from WWF. I still don't like to say WWE. I think WWF sounds better. That one there almost looks like half green Hulk, half red Hulk or something. Really crazy designs, but they are cool. Let's, let's see what this one is. Uh, and this one is like, um, it's almost like glamouflage, I guess you would say. Really colorful. Look it up close. It looks like it has like skulls, like a skull going on or something there. It's really cool. And this one, I actually saw collecting plastic open this one up, so I remember that this one, yeah, it comes with a little knife here. And it also has the camouflage on it. But again, for the sake of time, I'm going to keep things moving. I'll put these all together and we'll get a good look at them at the end. Got another Dunny here. 2010. So this is going back a ways here. <laughs> These designs are really funny. Look at just look how goofy that one looks there. It's like a zombie one. With this brain eating out. That one's cool too. Got his own head for the balloon. That one's pretty cute there. Yeah, these dunnies, um, collecting plastic, he warned me that these can be addictive to collect, so... I don't know, I'm definitely feeling them already. Now, let me see how in the world to get into this box. It almost feels like it's glued still or something, or maybe it was never opened. It's hard to tell. I'm just gonna have to really rip through to get it out here. Okay, so... Yeah, it is open already. It feels like it was glued up. And this one here, whoa, comes with, has an axe. And there's also, let's see what this is here. I don't know, it looks like a pipe or something there. Let me sit those down for a moment. And this is what the dunny looks like. So, I don't know, it's, it's almost like it's half, I guess it's like half cowboy, half Native American. That is really weird. <laughs> it's weird and yet cool at the same time. I don't know. It's just these dunnies are so different from anything else that I've seen before. But I'm definitely not limited to Funko Pops. I, I've been trying to make that clear on my channel. Even though Funko Pops are the main focus, I do, you know, other things catch my eyes. For example, I still want to get some figures by Quantum Mechanics if I could find them at a good price. And this is one more here. I'm sorry, I jumped ahead in the box. But this is, I think, a box we've already seen. Yeah, because that's the one I have right there. So you've already seen this box. And one more Dunny here. Okay, this one, I, I'm not feeling an item. I don't think he has an item to go in his hand. But he really doesn't need it. Look how cool this one looks. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great design. It actually has, what is, oh, <laughs> live news on the back of his head. Yeah, these are definitely not collectibles for kids. Live news on the back of his head, and you see what's going on in his eyes there, what he's looking at. And then, it's funny too, because it looks like he's sweating all over. He's so excited. That is so cool. Very cool there. <laughs> Now, before I put the dunnies together and let you see what they all look like together, he actually sent something else to me. He said he's going to send a graphic novel. This is pretty heavy duty here. This is um, you know, hardback and everything. And check that out. Got a Batman. I can't even really read what this says here. 
I'm going to look at the back and see what's going on. I've never seen this in a store before. I'm really surprised. Because I'm pretty up on Batman. It, oh, it just says, oh, Batman illustrated by Neil Adams. Wow, this is very cool. We're going to have to get into this and see what this looks like. I got the plastic off and I'm using my fingers here to mark a couple of pages that stood out to me. This is really like some old school Batman type of work going on here by Neil Adams. Neil Adams is a huge name in the comic world. I marked this page here just because I really like this character, Dead Man. He can possess other people. And there is a really great episode of... It's either Justice League or Justice League Unlimited. I want to say Justice League Unlimited because that's the one that had a lot of other characters involved. There was a really great episode with Dead Man. I won't spoil what happens at the end of that episode. But yeah, definitely if you've never watched the Justice League animated series or Justice League Unlimited, as far as I know, they're both still on Netflix and they are both excellent beginning to end. So they had a really good episode with Dead Man and... Yeah, Funko needs to get on that. We need a Dead Man pop figure, too. In fact, I think the darker characters from the DC Universe definitely deserve their due. I I'd love to see them as pop figures. You know, some other characters like Constantine, Zatanna, who not really a dark character, but she was with the Justice League dark, so maybe that's why she came to mind. But there are a lot of great characters they could work on. This page just stood out to me because, of course, I'm wondering why in the world is Batman singing, but it looks like this is... A holiday comic that was going on here so that's pretty cool and then check out this page here and this is definitely a story I can't wait to read Batman and Batgirl the bride of man bat if you watched my last Saturday night vlog you know I was just saying that I think this character would make a pretty cool pop figure as well and there's I think one more image I uh, lost my place on it oh this I always like this drawing of Batman there. There's just something about that style of Batman there that to me it just really sums up the character. He looks, I guess, like he has the weight of the world on his shoulders. And yet he still looks dangerous at the same time. So that's a great image of Batman. So collecting plastic, I, I don't even know what to say. You really did not have to do all of this but I'm so appreciative I mean this is awesome and like I said I love these dunnies again let me run back through these this one and I, I will look to be sure nothing has slipped out of the package but I don't think he had anything in his hand but even just by himself this is an awesome dunny <laughs> I still can't get over that this is really cool the other ones like I said I did go ahead and put the items in their hands so this one yeah it's half cowboy so that almost looked like a pipe at first, but it's actually his little six shooter. And then the Native American has the axe over here. So, yeah, that's a crazy <laughs> design going on there. And then the little camouflage or glamouflage one here. He's got his knife in hand. And it's so funny that, I mean, these look so sweet and innocent, just their basic design, but then. They really have some crazy stuff going on. And then the SWAT figure. It looks like I need to work with this helmet a little bit there. It seems like it's down on his eyes more than in the picture. But he's got his little shotgun in hand, his riot shield. Yeah, he's absolutely ready for war. So yeah, these are some really great figures. And collecting plastic might be right. I might have to get some more dunnies because these are really cool. Trying to move everything over. Yeah, Bender fell down for a second, but that's alright. We all know he's a drunk, so that happens sometimes. So yeah, all these figures that he sent to me, and as well as this book, really cool. I so did not expect all of this. Now, before I close this video out, one more thing that I want to share with you all. This I got from a trade, this glow-in-the-dark Hulk figure. I got in a trade with somebody from Facebook. This has probably the best glow that I've seen on anything from Funko yet, and I am not exaggerating. Let me show you real quick. Check out the glow on this Hulk Dorbs. And if my voice sounds a little bit echoey, it's because I am in my bathroom right now. So, yeah, welcome to FM's bathroom. But, yeah, just check out how good the glow is on this Hulk Dorbs. That is really cool. If you can get this your hand on this Dorbs, I don't care if you're a fan of Dorbs or not. This is awesome.
Yeah, this video it ran longer than I thought it would. Kind of, I usually don't do long videos at the beginning of the week. I try to keep things a little bit shorter. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you really like these figures here. And remember again, these Dunny figures are by Kid Robot. If you never checked out their website, you really should. They have some inexpensive things on the website. Then they have some really high end figures that are pretty pricey. I mean, they have an awesome old figure that I would love to have. It's a six inch awesome old. And if you don't know, who Awesomeo is? First of all, crawl from up under the rock, people. Awesomeo is awesome. Okay, that's a, you know one of the characters from South Park. It's actually Eric Cartman dressed up in a little robot outfit. One of my absolute favorite episodes of South Park. I played that episode so many times; it's really absurd. But yeah, I love Awesomeo, and they have a six-inch Awesomeo that is absolutely amazing. Just out of my price range, though. But they do also have some little awesome old, um, or excuse me, I should say Cartman figures that I believe are probably this size and they're mystery boxes. So I may have to pick some of those up and hope that I get awesome old, the smaller version because he is pretty rare, but I would love to have that figure. So Kid Robot, yeah, if you've never been to their website, check them out. They definitely have some cool stuff going on, some very artistic stuff going out, going on, excuse me. And then don't forget, I am going to link down here collecting plastics channel again and if you've never checked them out make sure you do so make sure you subscribe and collecting plastic if you're watching this I can't say thanks enough I mean I know you know you helped you out but you still didn't have to do all of this and I really appreciate it okay you all take care I hope you have a great week